Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Eden Prime also marked Saren's first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. Records indicate that you lost a squad mate on Eden Prime. Yeah. Corporal Jenkins. Does returning to the colony cause unpleasant memories? Just one more reason to fight the Reapers. I hope the motivation is effective. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. The area appears deserted. Come on, let's see if we can find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. The colonists rebuilt after Saren's attack. It is likely they will rebuild again after Cerberus is defeated. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move to another. Based on observation of the Normandy's crew, I believe most people invest more emotional permanence to ships they serve on. This Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them find... There's the elevator that leads to the dig site. Good. Now we can find out what they've discovered. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You believe Cerberus has recovered the corpse of a Prothean unmodified by Reaper technology? Cerberus hasn't uncovered corpses. This Prothean is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. By galactic community, you are suggesting that Protheans had a structure similar to the modern council. Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. 
If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are! Let's get moving before more of them come back. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. I never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video, and the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold, it's somebody's home. 
It appears that Cerberus cares little for civilian casualties. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods.
have retracted the bridge. We'll need to locate the controls. No time. Let's find another way across. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Cerberus has heavy forces incoming. We'll need to hold this position. We've got a second to catch our breath. Or set up preparations for the next wave. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? It should not be much longer. We should look for ways to hamper the enemy's approach. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access.
hard now. 